The National Treasury has begun yet another round of talks with multinational lenders to secure credit so as to keep Kenya's purse healthy. Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Atani says this is inevitable as the country stares at growing revenue shortfall occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. Faisal Ahmed kicks off our business news with those details. Has for the second time in less than six months reached out to the International Monetary Fund, IMF, for budgetary support to weather the coronavirus economic hardships. According to Treasury CS Ukuriatani, the funds will be in addition to the 79.3 billion shillings received in May. Naturally, we can we say that uh, our revenue performance is below our expectation. We are registering uh, underperformance in our initial projections. And this compounded by the expanded uh, expenditure pressure is going is definitely going to strain us. Revenue collection underperformed by 40 billion shillings in the first two months of the financial year, July and August, amid the coronavirus-related disruptions. Yatani further stated that the additional borrowing will not affect the country's debt ceiling despite the total public debt hitting 7.1 trillion shillings in August this year from 6 trillion shillings at the beginning of the year. Expenditures that we cannot do without in the health sector, in making the economy remain afloat, supporting the SMEs, through the credit guarantee scheme, supporting you know all that business environment, and we can only do this if we are liquid enough. And when we f- we we find challenges in raising our revenue, therefore we borrow concessionally, because the immediate concern at the moment is that for us to work through uh, this difficult moment. Comparing Kenya to other EAC member states, Yatani stated that Kenya was faring better than her neighbours who were hit harder with the effects of the pandemic. The expansion of Kenya's debt stock is expected to continue piling pressure on the country's debt sustainability, which has become severed under the COVID-19 pandemic. The Parliament Budget Office has warned of an increased debt pressure amidst low domestic revenue collections and increased spending under the global health crisis. Yatani spoke during an infrastructure deal signing ceremony with Trademark East Africa targeting roads and border posts. The deal worth 1.3 billion shillings will cover the counties of Nairobi, Mombasa, Busia and Bungoma. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.